The Colorado Air National Guard flew over the Colorado Freedom Memorial in Aurora today, marking the 11th year for this ceremony. The event is becoming one of the largest Memorial Day weekend tributes to fallen military members here in Colorado. Michael Labeda is your reporter in Aurora and was there this morning for the ceremony. He's going to join us live from that memorial. Michael, I understand that this is a pretty popular tradition. Yeah, you know, they do it every year out here in Aurora to remind the community just what this weekend is all about. It's the start of summer for a lot of people. Everybody is anxious to have the three days off. Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start to summer, which means people can get quite busy. But in Aurora, Colorado Remembers hopes that you spare a moment for those who made the ultimate sacrifice. We say, hey, out of all of those three days, find an hour, join us here, and let's remember the reason for the weekend. Saturday, they held a remembrance event at the Colorado Freedom Memorial to honor Colorado's fallen soldiers. We have 6,218 names on the memorial. We have names from all 64 counties of Colorado on this memorial. Rick Crandall, the chief executive officer of the Colorado Freedom Memorial Foundation, says this is always a special place, but this weekend it means just a little more for anyone who's lost a loved one in battle. And they come all through the week to just sit quietly out here and reflect a little bit, um, to, to have quiet conversations that only families can have with their loved ones. Veterans who served beside them on the battlefield come, and Coloradans just come just to find a time to reminisce, to bring back the good memories, right? To share tears if they need to. But he says anyone can come to say thank you to those who sacrificed. I mean, if you don't have a family member that's on a memorial somewhere, be grateful for that, be thankful for that, but learn about those that do have a name on the memorial. He doesn't want to give off the wrong impression. He wants Coloradans to enjoy the freedoms and liberties these men and women died to protect. He and all the families here just want a little of your time over the weekend. Have a good Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy what you get to do, but just find some time to say thank you. Now, they actually had a piece of the USS Arizona on display here today to honor those uh, people who were killed in the attacks on Pearl Harbor. And they signed an agreement with the city of Aurora out here today to build a museum on the land in the future. In Aurora, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First. Michael, thank you.